Hello, everybody. Come on in. It's so nice to see you. Welcome to the classroom. Oh, I'm still in my pajamas. I know some of our friends watching are in their pajamas too. Molly and Lizzie are in their pajamas and Colson and Raina, lots of our friends on the West Coast hanging out in their PJs. It's a pajama party. Woohoo! <laughs> and I have my teddy bear that I used to cuddle with when I was little before I went to bed. His name is Scruffy. Say hi, Scruffy. Hello. <laughs> Do you have something special that you like to sleep with? Maybe uh, a special blanket or a stuffed animal like Scruffy? Yeah. Once I thought that Scruffy was lost. I was looking for him all day and I was starting to get really scared and really sad, but it turns out that Scruffy got lost in my bed sheets and he went for a ride accidentally in the washing machine. Woo! <laughs> and when I found him again, he was nice and clean. That was a fun day, wasn't it, Scruffy? Yeah, he had a good time. Let's see, Sophia has her kitty named Muffins that you like to cuddle with. That's a really nice one. Arya sleeps with a cat too. That's so nice to be able to sleep and cuddle with your cat. Very nice, everyone. And Ellie likes to sleep with her dolly. Sam likes his bear fatty and his dog sheriff. And Ethan has a, spell, a special pillow with his face on it. Wow, those are all really special things, everybody. Let's give a big special hello to all of our friends watching today. You can hang out there, Scruffy. We'll see you later. <laughs> a big special hello to all of our friends. There's Sam and Phineas in Omaha and Alexa in Wisconsin. Let's wave hello, everybody. I have a big hood on my pajamas, which kind of makes it tricky to put the guitar on. All right. Are you ready to wave? Here we go. Hello, hello. What's your name? Hello, hello. What's your name? My name is Katie. What's your name, everybody? Shout it out nice and loud. Nice to meet you. Let's say hello to some of our friends watching today. Hello, hello, hello to Adam in Ontario or in Ottawa, Ontario. Hello, what's your name? My name is Katie. What's your name? I see Ewan and baby cousin Chris from Montana and Branson and Sienna in Costa Rica. Nice to meet you. Let's be friends. A big hello to all our friends watching today. Everly and Zoe say hello, hi, and Desi says hi. Hello to Violet in Virginia. Hello everyone, thanks so much for being here today. Oh, excuse me. Ooh, I must be feeling a little sleepy, oh my. You know, sometimes when we're feeling tired, we yawn. Can you give a big yawn? Ooh, oh my. And sometimes when we're feeling tired, we might get a little grumpy. Hmm. Does that ever happen to you? Sometimes it happens to me. Or we might start to feel a little silly. And that's why it's so important when we're feeling tired that we try and quiet down. We close our eyes and just have a little rest. Did I just fall asleep? Oh no, we have so many fun things to do today. Oh no, we're gonna have to wake up everybody. Let's get up on our feet and move our bodies and dance. Ooh, whoopsie, that didn't sound very good, did it? Let's try again. Can you move your bodies and dance? Let's wake up. Woo! All right, that's better, I think. Nothing like a little dance to wake you up. Make you feel good. Oh no, I fell.
fell asleep again, didn't I? Uh-oh, we're gonna have to dance and go faster, everybody. Let's dance faster, here we go. Move your bodies. We gotta wake up. Faster, faster, faster. Oh yeah, that's good. I definitely feel better now. That's just the ticket. A little bit of movement. I'm not a bit sleepy at all. No way. <sighs> Thanks for waking me up, everybody. You know, after that little rest, I feel a lot better. Our friend Eva's pretending to sleep too. Yeah, after a little bit of sleep, you have a lot more energy to do all the fun things like singing and dancing and jumping. Let's pretend to jump like monkeys. Ooh, 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 ah, 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 ooh, 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 ah, ah, ah. Can you jump, 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 jump? I know a song about monkeys jumping on the bed. Let's sing a song about monkeys jumping on the bed, everybody. You can jump like our monkey friends. Five little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. Abigail's dancing, Chloe's jumping up and down. Four little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. How many monkeys left? Three monkeys. Three little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. How high can you jump, everybody? Let's see. Two little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and Bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, No more monkeys jumping on the bed. You tell those monkeys. How many monkeys are left, everybody? There's just one little monkey left jumping. Let's jump. One little monkey jumping on the bed. She fell off and bumped her head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. Nice job. Great jumping, everybody. Oh, nice counting along, too. Evan and Everett from California jumping along. Great job, everybody. Kieran and Tegan from Nebraska jumping along. Now, it is important to mention that we shouldn't actually jump on our beds like the monkeys. We don't want to bump our heads, right? Our beds are for sleeping in, but it is fun to pretend. And those monkeys went right to bed, didn't they? Yeah, we told those monkeys they should go be going to sleep in their beds. And I bet they had a really good sleep. Can you imagine all five of those little monkeys sleeping in their beds. Oh, they must have looked so cute, don't you think? I think sleeping animals are really cute, everybody. Let's take a look at some cute sleeping animals together, but shh, we'll have to be really quiet so we don't wake them up.
were so cute, weren't they? What animals did you see? I saw some monkeys sleeping, just like our five little monkeys, and a koala bear sleeping all the way up in a tree. Did you see those animals? Abby saw the elephant. Yeah, the elephant kind of had its tongue sticking out when it was sleeping. That was really cute. Ethan, so happy to see all the animals. And Arya says, a kitty cat. I know those kitties sleeping are so cute. They're all so cozy and furry. Hmm. You know, my pajamas are pretty furry and cozy too. It's nice wearing cozy pajamas to go to bed, isn't it? Can we help my friend here? He needs some help finding some pajamas. We have four tops and four bottoms. Can we find the two that fit together to make a pair? Yeah, let's match them together, everybody. Let's take a look. Now they're all different colors and some shapes and different characters on them too. Let's start with this one. It's a nice orange color and there's some polka dots. And who's in the polka dots? It's our friend Noodle and Pals. Yeah, there's broccoli and jelly. <laughs> Can you find the bottom that match this top? Let's see. Do you see the orange one with the polka dots? What about this one? Yeah, I see some other friends. There's jelly and cheesy. Let's see if they match. Ooh, beautiful. It's a match. Perfect pajamas, aren't they? Let's find another match. What about this one? Does that match? Mm, I don't think so. Let's find the bottoms for this one. I see lots of blue and squiggly lines. And who's that? Baby shark, bedtime shark. That'd be a great name for these pajamas, bedtime shark. Can we find the bottoms that go with these top? This one is blue with lots of squiggly lines too. Let's see if it matches. Ta-da! I think it matches everybody. It looks great. Looks like our friend's swimming underwater with Baby Shark. What great pajamas. Let's find another one. Now, let's try this one. This one's red with squares on it. It's kind of a plaid pattern, isn't it? And who's this? One of the Bumble Nums. This doesn't match, does it? Mm -mm. Let's find the match for these bottoms. Something else that's red and maybe that has a Bumble Num on it? This one? Yeah. One of our friends calls the Bumble Nums the Num Nums, the Um Nums. <laughs> The Um Nums pajamas, yeah. Our Bumble Num friends. This matches perfectly. They both have squares and red and the Bumble Nums on them. Molly and Lizzie like the Bumble Nums. <laughs> All right, let's find our last match. Let's try this one. Twinkle Twinkle Next says Annette. This is the Twinkle Twinkle one. There's the owl from Twinkle Twinkle Little Star and the night sky. Let's find the bottoms that go with this top. You see owl's friend, the star? Way up here. Yeah, let's see if it matches. What do you think? It's perfect. This is the perfect match, owl and star hanging out on the pajamas. Great job, everybody. Thanks for helping our friend find their matching pajamas. I think our friend's ready to go to sleep now. Good night. Shh, now we'll have to be really quiet so we don't wake our friend up. Let's go over here, okay? Shh. Oh, look, it's Colonel. Colonel's asleep too. Everybody's asleep. Let's see if we can wake Colonel up with a little song. Yeah, let's sing, Are You Sleeping? That's a good song to gently wake someone up. Oof. 
All right. Get your little bells ready, everyone. We'll go ding, ding, dong. See if we can wake up our friend Colonel. Sing along with me. Are you sleeping? Are you sleeping? Brother John, Brother John, morning bells are ringing, morning bells are ringing, ding, ding, dong, ding, ding, dong. Anyone else out there feeling a little sleepy? Maybe needs a little wake up? Hmm? How about our friend Noah? Are you sleeping? Are you sleeping? Noah, Noah, bluebirds are singing, bluebirds are singing, tweet, 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 wake up, Noah. How about our friend Jade Nicole, whose birthday it is today? You want to be awake on your birthday. Are you sleeping? Are you sleeping? Jade Nicole, Jade Nicole. The morning sun is shining, the morning sun is shining. Rise and shine, rise and shine, rise and shine and happy birthday. Uh-oh, Clarkie's pretending to ring a bell. We're waking up. Addie's feeling a little sleepy. Are you sleeping? Are you sleeping? Addie, Addie, morning bells are ringing, morning bells are ringing. Our friend Connor is sleeping and Holden and David is sleeping. Uh-oh, is someone's daddy sleeping? We better tell him to wake up. Are you sleeping? Are you sleeping? George, George, morning bells are ringing. Morning bells are ringing. Ding, ding, dong, ding, ding, dong. Wake up. Are you sleeping? Are you sleeping? Natalie, Natalie, bluebirds are singing, bluebirds are singing. Tweet, 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 tweet. Wake up, Natalie. Wake up, Cam and Jack. Wake up, Penny Jane. Are you sleeping? Are you sleeping? Everly, Everly. Sun is shining, the morning sun is shining. Rise and shine, rise and shine. Oh, Holden's up and he's dancing. Little Joe from Arizona, are you sleeping? And Lizzie, uh-oh, I think I see some more friends that need to wake up. Are you sleeping, are you sleeping? Liam, Liam. Bluebirds are singing, bluebirds are singing. Tweet, 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 tweet. Giovanni's sleeping. Are you sleeping? Are you sleeping? Little Joe, little Joe. Morning bells are ringing, morning bells are ringing. Ding, ding, dong, ding, ding, dong. Molly and Ben from Ar Ar Amarillo are sleeping. Nicole Marin from Atlanta, Georgia is sleeping. Vu is yawning. Oh. Let's try one more time, everybody. Can you ring your bells with me? We'll all wake up. Are you sleeping? Are you sleeping? Brother John, Brother John. Morning bells are ringing, morning bells are ringing. Ding, ding, dong, ding, ding, dong. Can you ring your bells with me? Ding, ding, dong, ding, ding, dong. Nice job. Let's wake up, everybody, and give ourselves a big clap. Sanchez's awake and Annabelle's awake. Malaya and Mom Marlou are sleepy still. Wake up, everybody. Oh. We have to wake up our friend Colonel. The sun is shining. Woo. And it's time to play. Let's see if we can wake up Colonel by shouting, Rise! 
rise and shine, Colonel. Yeah. We'll count, we'll, we'll count to three and we'll say it all together. Are you ready? One, two, three. Rise and shine, Colonel. It worked. Good morning, Colonel. The sun is shining and it's time to play. When the sun's out, it means it's time to get up. But when the moon's out, it's time to sleep. And you might like to have something like this in your room. You can flip it over when it's time to get up and when it's time to go to sleep. I'll show you how I made it, everybody. You can make one of your own. Let's get our friend and his PJs out of the way so we can do some crafts. Here we go. Now, all you need is some stuff that you might already have at home, like a paper plate and some paint, some glue, a paintbrush. And to get started, we want to paint one side of our plate yellow. The bottom of the plate's going to be the sun, so that'll be yellow, and the top will be blue. That's going to be the night sky. We don't even need to put the paint on anything else. We just plop it right in the middle of the plate. And we can use that to spread all over and make our plate blue. Oh yeah. It's fun to make some paints, isn't it? Spread the paint all around. And get it all the way to the edge. Big circle. This is a really fun craft to do at home because you probably have all this stuff at home already. And it's always fun to use some paints. We got some stamps too. Make this beautiful night sky. <laughs> Cora and Elsa and Prim thinks it looks like fun. It is. Lots of fun to paint around. So once you have your night sky all finished, all nice and blue, you want to cover all the white parts, then we can leave it to dry for a little bit. I need more paint. Sometimes you need more paint. More paint for the blue sky. The blue kind of matches my pajamas, doesn't it? Got my blue polka dotted pajamas in the blue night sky. All right. That's looking pretty good. Did I get all the white parts? Yeah. So now we'll put that aside. We'll let it dry. And then once it's dry, you can do the other side, the yellow side. So this one is already nice and dry so we can start decorating. So to decorate our night sky, we'll use a little bit of white paint. So I'm gonna put this paint in another dish. There we go. And this is really fun. We get to use a pencil for a stamp, one side, the eraser, will make some big stars like this. Look at that. Those are gonna be the stars in the night sky. Our twinkling, twinkling little stars, our stars. <laughs> really pretty. We'll put them all over our plate. And then we can use the other side of the pencil the sharp side to make really small stars. So these stars might be further away. It's gonna make a really pretty night sky. <laughs> Malaya says it looks so food. <laughs> I really like using paints and stamps. There, so you can make as many stars as you like. I think that's pretty good. Beautiful night sky, lots of twinkling stars. And now we'll make the moon. So to make the moon, we'll use a yellow piece of construction paper. We'll put it down and you wanna trace a circle the same size of your plate, like this. And then you can use your marker to cut out or to draw the shape of a moon. So this is gonna be our crescent moon. 
You ever see the moon in the sky where it just looks like a little sliver? That's what our moon's gonna look like. And we wanna make our moon look more like the moon. So we'll use some yellow paint. And you can use a bottle cap to make a stamp. Dip it in the yellow paint like that. Get all the extra off. And we'll just stamp it down on the moon like that. We can even stamp over the line because when we cut it out, it'll look really nice. Like that. And it's always fun to use things that you have around your house in a different way. So this bottle cap, we're using it with the paint to make a stamp. It's pretty cool. There we go. And look, you can use the other side to make some craters too, like that, like some holes. <laughs> Kind of looks like a piece of cheese, doesn't it? Now there's some stories that say the moon is made of cheese. You ever heard that? In Japan, they say you can see a rabbit in the moon. Sometimes when I look at the moon, I think I can see a face, two eyes and a mouth. Have you ever seen that? Different places have different stories about the moon. Do you have a story about the moon where you're from? Maybe a different picture that you see in the moon? It's always really interesting. The moon's been around for a long time. I think that looks pretty good. All right. Now, once this is dry, you can cut out along the lines and you'll have a beautiful moon shape like this. Look at that, all our nice craters. And we can make the moon face. So we're gonna make a face in the moon, two eyes and a mouth. Well, because this is half a moon, We'll make just one eye. There he is sleeping. We'll give him a happy face. Our sleeping moon. We'll put it over on the other side. And we're gonna glue it onto our night sky, everybody. Use a little bit of glue all along the edge of the moon. Holden knows all the phases of the moon. That's amazing, Holden. The moon's a really interesting thing to learn about. Let's put the moon on our paper plate. We're gonna glue it right on top. There we go. Now we have our moon in the night sky. So pretty. Now we have to make the other side. Do you remember what was on the other side? A sun. All right. So to make our sun, we're gonna cut out some orange triangles from orange construction paper. I made some already here. The important thing is though, you wanna make sure it doesn't go past the edge of the plate so you don't see it on the other side. So we'll just take some glue and put it all the way around our paper plate like this. Whee! <laughs> and we'll take our orange triangles and just paste them on. Those are gonna be our nice sunbeams all the way around the sun. Eli says it looks awesome. Yeah, I think this is gonna look really great. And if you wanna try it at home, we have a post on our website so you can check out all the details on how to make it. There's lots of pictures so you can try it at home and maybe hang it on your bedroom wall. It'd be really fun to turn over in the morning and turn over again at nighttime before you go to sleep. Almost there, maybe one more. Perfect. Our sun looks great. Now we need a face for our sun too. Let's make a little nose and a big smiley face. Oh yeah, it's a happy sun. And for our eyes, let's use two googly eyes. Put some glue on. Georgia says we're making Mr. Golden Sun. Yeah. Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun. Pretty. Now to finish off our craft, so we'll carefully use a hole punch. I got one right here. And we want, uh-oh. 
<laughs> so something you want to make sure when you make your craft, you have it lined up. So we have the moon and the sun kind of in the same position. Well, mine's going to be a little wonky. But this one here is made. You want to put the, the hole right on the top of the moon and the sun like that and put your little piece of ribbon or string or whatever you have through the hole and tie a knot. And then you have your beautiful craft that you can put on the wall to say, wake up or good night. And if you make this at home, we would love to see your pictures. You can always share pictures with us either on Facebook. We have a Katie's Classroom Facebook page or on Instagram. I'm at Super Simple Katie or you can send them to us through our website, supersimple.com, on the contact page. We love seeing what you're up to at home. Let's take a look at some of the photos you sent in this past week. This is Aria from England. And look, she's making a music shaker from our music episode. Looks beautiful, Aria. Eli from South Africa made a shaker too. Nice job, Eli. This is our friend Henry from Canada. He's watching the show. Hi, Henry. Thanks for sending in your photos, everybody. You can always send in your photos. We love to see what you're, what you're doing. I guess sometimes we sleep when the sun's out too, don't we? Yeah, that's called having a nap. And I love naps. Naps are really great. Once I even accidentally took a nap when I was supposed to be singing a song with Toby. But I think it worked out okay. Let's take a look and see what happened. Hi, Katie. Uh, ready to start? Sing along with Toby. <laughs> Katie? 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 She's asleep. <laughs> oh boy. We're supposed to do a show now. But I want to wake her up, but I don't want to scare her. do to wake Katie up in a nice, quiet way. Oh, I know. I have an idea. Katie loves the song Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. Maybe if we sing it, she'll wake up and we can start the show. <laughs> okay, let's try it. I'll teach you the song and some moves. Do it with me and help me wake Katie up, okay? <clears throat> Hit it, Toby! Twinkle, twinkle, little star How I wonder what you are Up above the world so high like a 
favorite song. Mine too. <sighs> See you again. I'll sing along with Toby. <sighs> Sleep tight. Toby fell asleep too. I guess we were both really sleepy. Colson says, thinks it's funny that I sing in my sleep. I love singing so much. I sing all the time in the grocery store, even maybe when I'm sleeping. I love it that much. Evangeline, Evangel, Evangeline is giggling at me sleeping in my sleep. Ooh, and some of our friends are saying, Twinkle Twinkle is their favorite song. Malaya says, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star is her very favorite. I really like that song. It's a perfect song to sing when you're going to sleep. It's nice to sing a song or read a story before you go to bed, isn't it? Yeah. Let's read a bedtime story together. But this story is gonna be a little different because it's inside this box. Now this is a way of storytelling from Japan called Kalmi Shibai. And it means paper play. When we open the box, it looks like a theater, and inside, the story is the play. Should we open it up and see what the story is? Yeah, okay, here we go. Let's take a look. Ooh, the theater's ready to open. Here we go. Wow. It really looks like a theater, doesn't it? I see three bears. This story is Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Let's all snuggle in for a bedtime story, everybody. Once upon a time, there were three bears who lived in a cottage in the woods. Papa Bear, Mama Bear, and Baby Bear. One morning, the bears were about to eat their breakfast when Papa Bear said, Stop, everyone! This porridge is too hot. Oh no, said Baby Bear. What are we going to do? I have an idea, said Mama Bear. Let's go for a walk in the woods. And while we walk, our porridge will cool. Very good, said Papa Bear. And off they went. Also out walking in the woods was Goldilocks. She had been walking a long while and realized she was lost. Oh no! She walked and walked and soon came to a cottage in the woods. Hello, she called, but no one was home. The door was open, so she went inside. At the table in the kitchen, there were three bowls of porridge, a red bowl, a blue bowl, and a yellow bowl. Goldilocks was very hungry. She tasted the porridge from the red bowl. This porridge is much too hot, she said. So she tasted the porridge from the blue bowl. This porridge is much too cold, she said. Then she tasted the porridge in the yellow bowl. Ah, she said, this porridge is just right and happily ate it all up. Yum, 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 yum. After she ate all the porridge, Goldilocks was feeling very tired. She went into the living room and saw three chairs, a red chair, a blue chair, and a yellow chair. Goldilocks sat in the red chair this chair is much too hard, she said. So she sat in the blue chair. 
This chair is much too soft, she said. Then she tried the yellow chair. Ah, she said, this chair is just right. And she settled in. But just then, oh no! The chair cracked and broke. Oh dear. Now Goldilocks was very tired. So she went upstairs to the bedroom. There, she found three beds. A red bed, a blue bed, and a yellow bed. She tried the red bed. This bed is much too hard, she said. So she tried the blue bed. This bed is much too soft, she said. Then she tried the yellow bed. <sighs> she said, this bed is just right. And she fell fast asleep. <sighs> Meanwhile, the bears came home from their walk. Someone's been eating my porridge, said Papa Bear. Someone's been eating my porridge, said Mama Bear. Someone's been eating my porridge, said Baby Bear. And they ate it all up. The bears walked into the living room. Someone's been sitting in my chair, said Papa Bear. Someone's been sitting in my chair, said Mama Bear. Someone's been sitting in my chair, said Baby Bear. And they broke it. The bears decided to take a look upstairs. Someone's been sleeping in my bed said Papa Bear. Someone's been sleeping in my bed, said Mama Bear. Someone's been sleeping in my bed, said Baby Bear. And she's still there. Just then, Goldilocks woke up and saw the three bears. Are you the one who has been eating our porridge? and sitting in our chairs and sleeping in our beds, asked the bears. Oh, I'm so sorry, said Goldilocks. I was lost in the woods and came looking for help. I'm so sorry I ate your porridge and broke your chair and slept in your beds. The three bears forgave Goldilocks and called her mother to come walk her home. And Goldilocks's mother brought ice cream. Thank you for taking care of Goldilocks, she said. And they all became good friends. The end. Hooray! That was such a nice story. Hooray for story time and hooray for Komishibai. Wasn't that lots of fun? I'm glad you liked the story, everybody. Georgia likes the ending much better. Yeah, it's nice when everybody can get along. Oakley says he loves porridge and loves the story. Mmm, a story and some porridge? Yes, please. I had a lot of fun with you today, everybody. <sighs> I think I might need a little nap in a big yellow bed, too. It's time to say goodbye, but we'll see you next time. And if this is your first time joining us, we do a live show right here in the classroom every Tuesday at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on the Super Simple Songs channel. So to join us next time, make sure you subscribe to Super Simple Songs and click the button with the bell. You can ring the bell then. That means you'll get notifications every time we go live. So you won't miss it. And we'll be back next week with lots more fun. 
And if you want to see some past shows, all the past shows are on our website, supersimple.com. And we have clips from the show, our favorite parts, on the Super Simple Play YouTube channel. So lots of things to watch. Until I see you next time, everybody, let's wave our hands and we'll sing a big goodbye to all of our friends. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. Goodbye to Ariana and her teddy bear, Strawberry. Scruffy says bye to Strawberry, too. Goodbye to Ian and Lisa and Max from Brazil. Goodbye to Kane in New Jersey, Lachlan and Lewis. Goodbye to Joaquim in Brazil and Asher and Penny Lane and Luke from New York, Giovanni, Miriam and Lainey, Riker and Elo. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. Goodbye to Ava from California. Goodbye to Alexis, Ariana, and baby Joseph. We'll see you next week, everybody. Goodbye to Selly. I hope I'm saying your name right. Selly, Nina, and Allie in South Texas. Goodbye to Prim and Kira from Kansas. Jocelyn and Owen from Kansas City. Nicole Marin from Atlanta. Goodbye to Julia in Amsterdam and Oakley in England. Caleb and Chloe in Atlanta and Silas. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. Goodbye to Noah Sampson in New Orleans. Goodbye to Brody in Scotland. Goodbye to Alondra from Puerto Rico and Kena from, uh, oh, I think it was Indonesia. I hope it was. Goodbye to Natalie in New Jersey. Georgia and Carter from Vancouver. Goodbye to Malaya from the Philippines. Alina from Mexico. Goodbye to Benjamin in Miami and Classy in Los Angeles. Goodbye to Eleanor in Brazil and Phoenix and Harley in Cincinnati. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. Goodbye to Michael from Washington and Ava in Pennsylvania. Zyra in Newmarket, that's not that far away. Goodbye to Penny in Oklahoma and Sanchet from Mumbai. Kim and Jack in Houston. Goodbye to Baby John and Calvin and Ruth in Orlando. Evie and Clarky in Texas. Diego in New York. Goodbye to Sergio from California. Joshua and Isaiah from Texas. Goodbye to Abigail in North Yorkshire. Goodbye to Layla from California. Isabella from Guatemala and Amanda from Puerto Rico. Goodbye, Alexis and Abby and Diego. We'll see you soon, everybody. Goodbye, 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 goodbye. We'll see you next time. Bye, everybody. I had a lot of fun with you today. Oh, excuse me. Oh, I might just take a... A little rest. I'll see you next time, everybody. Okay, bye, bye.